Hello and welcome to Up to Speed Live. It's Friday. We made it through the week. We have a lot going on. We're going to recap it for you right now. But before that, let me not forget to tell you who I am. I am Diana Alvear. Good to be with you. All right, let's get into the highlights. Monday, Andy schooled all of you with a fun quiz as we explored back-to-school promotions and more. Tuesday, the Up to Speed team taught you some really valuable work hacks. And let me tell you, I must have watched this at least three times. I found them so valuable. And yesterday, we got to know the interns, and we heard some really great advice. I love interns. I love National Intern Day. It's always so fun to think back on my days as an intern, and they get to do the cooler stuff. I was like refilling coffee machines and answering phones until they realized I was really bad at answering phones. Okay, so on that note, let's get to the big news. As you can tell, I'm a little bit pumped, and you're about to hear why. So Verizon and Samsung recently wrapped up a fully virtualized 5G data session in a test over C-band spectrum. So what does that mean for you? This is a test of cloud-based virtualization, which has the power to transform communication as we know it. It allows us to deliver services like augmented reality, remote healthcare, and autonomous robotics in manufacturing environments. So in these trials, we achieved virtual-based speeds that match traditional hardware-based equipment in a live environment. And that means we'll soon be able to leverage our C-band spectrum to expand and strengthen our 5G ultra-wideband network for all of our customers. Talk about moving the world forward together. So, yes, very, very exciting stuff. And wait till you see what's in store over the next few months. You should be very excited. Okay. So, it is Friday. We're thinking, oh, what kind of plans do we have on Saturday Sunday? Are we going to hit the road? Are we going to travel? Well, attention, road warriors, because Verizon is launching four four new mobile hotspot plans, and it's going to give you access to the data that you need for work and play, no matter where your travel takes you. So, the new mobile hotspots plans range from 15 gigabytes to 150 gigabytes per month, and the top three tiers, Plus, Pro, and Premium, give you access to 5G Ultra Wideband 1, so you can stream more videos, send bigger files, and browse the web at faster speed. So, rather than hoping that that Airbnb that you're staying at or the hotel has stable Wi-Fi, Don't worry about it because Verizon gives you the extra data you need to connect with those who matter most. You can work with a secure and reliable internet connection, so feel free to roam knowing that America's most reliable network has your back. And talking about reliable and having your back, we have landed a U.S. Department of Defense contract worth nearly $79 million. Verizon is going to be providing advanced network modernization services to the Air National Guard Readiness Center. This allows the network to expand to roughly 140 locations, and the order expands Verizon's existing partnership to include internet protocol voice services and managed network services to help Air National Guard achieve its mission. And Verizon Frontline recently announced the launch of its first-of-a-kind unmanned aerial system, otherwise known as drone, training program designed to enable members of the Verizon response team to support first responders with missions ranging from risk or damage assessment to search and rescue operations. So very exciting stuff there. Always good to know that those teams are working hard day and night, 24-7, to take care of us all. With CEOs in, in signing a letter urging Congress to pass a law offering a path to citizenship to young immigrants that were brought to the U.S. as children. You may know them as dreamers. Well, this letter addressed to President Biden in congressional letters reads in part, securing a pathway to citizenship for dreamers not only is the right thing to do, but is a huge economic benefit to the United States. The latest court ruling makes it all the more urgent that Congress take up and pass a legislative solution right away. We thought that was important for you to know about. You can take a look at that letter if you link at the link in our story. Now, remember our powerful documentary, Not Done? I mean, it was the kind of documentary that really gives you chills. Well, congratulations to filmmaker Dylan McGee and her team at Makers. The film is up for an Emmy and well-deserved, too. If you have not seen it, you definitely want to check it out. You'll be all sorts of motivated and inspired. And guess what? You get to choose our Verizon Working Mom and Dad of the Year. You know we're surrounded by countless inspirational working moms and dads. Well, check this out. For the last 21 years, we have been on the 100 Best Companies list compiled annually by Saramount. And they want to honor our top working mom and dad chosen by you. So just click the link in the story. You get to read about the finalists who were nominated by ERG members. I am warning you, you are going to tear up reading their personal stories because it's amazing some of the things that they've overcome or ways that they've given of themselves. I mean, there were people who were 
teaching other people's children during the pandemic or escaped as refugees. These are incredible people. You want to make sure that you vote for your working mom or dad by next Friday, August 6th by midnight, and you may need enough time to just decide because every story was so great. As we start to close out Disability Pride Month, we really want to highlight a beautiful conversation that Ronan had with Caroline Casey. She is the CEO and founder of The Valuable 500, and this is an organization that is focused on amplifying disability inclusion on a global scale. Take a listen. In a very practical sense, we have developed our Citizen Verizon strategy, and right at the core of that is making sure that the technology that we support, 4G and 5G, is fundamentally inclusive. So what does that practically mean? It means working in partnerships to make sure that we're creating digital confidence among people so that they actually feel able to use the new digital tools to participate. That's at the education level, but it's also at helping found businesses, helping to make sure that devices are truly usable by everyone in our community and society. And our approach is that talent is equally distributed around the world. It's opportunity that isn't. So why should we exclude some incredible talent that sits inside very diverse elements of our society and community, including people with disability, and make sure that we give them the tools to be innovative, creative, and value creating in a way that's good for everybody? Honestly, it makes good business sense. Couldn't agree with you more, Ronan. And he said it best, at Verizon, within our reach, is the ability to create not only a connected world, but an accessible one. And that is truly a beautiful thing. And our commitment to adv advancing disability inclusion is infused in every aspect of our business. And that is something that we should all be proud of. We can also be proud of, okay, this is so exciting. We were like, oh my gosh, we can't wait to put this in the show. So. We've been watching all the amazingness of the Olympics right now and seeing all these amazing stories and, and you know, go Sunisa Lee, amazing stuff there, winning the gold. Well, we have somebody that you're going to root for, okay? The teamer, Alan Williams, who is on the next product management team for our business group, his nephew, Rye Benjamin, is going to the semifinals in Tokyo for the men's 400-meter hurdles this Sunday morning. So our congratulations to Rye. We will be watching and rooting for you this weekend. And again, I'm going to say his name. It's Rye Benjamin. It's the men's 400-meter hurdle. I mean, I can barely get up from my couch. So this is going to be really, really exciting stuff. And it's so much fun to root for somebody that we that we know. I feel like we know him. And, and thank you so much, Alan, for letting us know about your amazing nephew. Okay. So we always love highlighting our stores. We love our solution specialists and all that stuff. So we're going to send a shout out to Chi Town, namely our friends at our retail store in Cicero, Illinois. That's a Chicago suburb. Our crew there opened its doors to the public just a couple of weeks ago. And as you can see here, they are ready to go. They've got their shirts on. They've got their spirit on. They're excited to tell our customers about the latest in tech, our powerful network, and all things Verizon 5G. And as our own Sean Lee noted on Instagram yesterday, it's just the latest example of how we continue to show up where and when our customers need us most. And look at that. I mean, I have lived in the Windy City, and there's nothing like Chicago Pride. So that is going to do it for us today. We gave you everything. We talked C-Band. We talked, you know, public sector and Verizon Frontline. We told you about somebody you can root for in the Olympics. We showed you amazing solution specialists in a brand new store. We're leaving you on a high note, but... I have somebody that I want to help do the final honor. So, again, I am Diana Alvear. I hope you have a wonderful, safe weekend. Watch the Olympics. Let's root for ride together. And I'm going to leave it to Miguel Ortiz, one of our solution specialists at that sister store, to close us out. Until next time, you're up to speed. <laughs> <laughs>